Hello good people from the YouTube, here's Marcelo Durham once again. Uh, today I would like to talk about this big news that came out uh, actually quite some time now, about a month, uh, that Behringer is gonna put out sooner than later uh, John Frusciante's favorite or maybe one of his favorite pedals, the C1, the Boss Chorus, and it's quite of a surprise to me that Behringer came out with this pedal like a, a clone of this pedal before Boss actually made their own reissue I mean so far there's no signs that Boss will come with a reissue of this pedal apart maybe of their new delay their new delay that is a uh, you know inspired on their tape the Roland tape delay uh, if you check the, the enclosure of that new delay that they put out it looked like the C1 uh, type of enclosure or those pedals from those days, the phaser and everything that they put out um, in the, those late 70s, early 80s. We know that John Frusciante uses this pedal forever, like since the early days of Red Hot Chili Peppers because of the chorus, uh, the, the vibrato and of course the preamp characteristics of the pedal so he puts in the end of his signal chain and has the correct characteristics of the sound and we have many people like many many builders like boutique builders uh, doing clones of maybe just this preamp or the whole pedal itself they go quite expensive sometimes like you know five hundred dollars or four hundred and something pounds or three hundred euros if you get maybe the cheaper one and so they are expensive and if you go for the original ones the C ones like uh, the original ones, so you get, can get a very beat up one for like around 700 pounds in dollars, maybe about a thousand dollars or something like that. So uh, it's only convenient that these builders are doing the clones. They are adapted to the modern days with nine volt batteries um, and sorry, nine volt power supplies or batteries. I don't think they work with batteries, but anyway. Uh, and with less uh, the noise floor being uh, reduced so all that thing is is great and and I thought okay boss is living letting people do it and and be you know this boutique thing that you can buy if you don't want to get the original ones that are really more expensive and has some issues considering modern day playing and, and anyway. but I always wonder why boss did not act and came out with the reissue version and now they got beat up by Behringer who's making it and I cannot wait to to actually have this product on the shelf I'm definitely gonna buy it uh, I was about to buy one from these uh, builders uh, this boutique builders one here from Europe which I might do still because then later I can do the comparison with the Behringer one also uh, I like to although these guys I know they're making a lot of money I think is Sometimes it just feels like it's nicer to incentive buy something from an independent builder than a big corporation. Although I'm sure I'm going to get the Behringer as well. But the point is that Behringer took action. They are paying attention to what is happening on the internet. They're seeing the videos on YouTube. They're seeing where the market wants to go. And they're just giving what people want. And they're going to give an affordable for people who cannot pay this uh, amount of money that the uh, boutique builders have to charge because uh, there's a lot of work to do these pedals but also the waiting list if you buy a pedal from one of these guys you have to wait one two years sometimes to get the pedal so Behringer will make it accessible to to everyone let's just hope they maintain the quality and you know uh, and and they don't they keep the true original circuit which to be fair to Behringer they managed to do it uh, in their history uh, they're known for that and they're being overlooked I would say for some people for having cheap bad quality products which yes they do have affordable products but they're not exactly bad cheap quality they're actually amazing that they can do that level of quality for such a low price so you know big manufacturer and that's how it works, you know. We, we had videos from uh, Josh from GHS comparing uh, the Behringer clones with the original vintage, really high expensive pedals and they all sound really good. 
So I'm looking forward to see this pedal and uh, definitely gonna have a review here at the channel as soon as they come out. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll get back to the subject uh, in the future, uh, explaining a little bit more of the history of this pedal and this effect, the chorus effect that this particular boss uh, chorus effect. So um, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like the video. Uh, have some stuff on Spotify if you like to check my music. I'm putting a record out soon. Uh, these ones are in Portuguese, but soon I'm gonna have one in English. I'm gonna put some, some songs here that I have already out on YouTube. And thanks for watching. Till next time, and peace. See you around.